have the solution for that. But last summer I saw those emails. You know. As a mother of three kids, nobody should ever have to teach their child how to shoot a gun in self-defense. And that really bothered me. I have to be involved. Clearly. I don't go to community meetings, but I hear that it's um, loud and boisterous and people don't like to go to them. So I'm hoping that there's forums like this that promote uh, a little more give and take. I believe videos like this will create more hate than it's going to do good. I believe it was very one-sided against John Stokes, and I was sad to hear the, the, the prejudice against him. We vlogged all of our life, my husband, and um, we finally had to get out of vlogging. And I think we need to figure out a way to work together. I, I was struck by your just your statement that you your whole life or most of your life was logging and that you had to leave that and there's a story there that I, I need to hear and I'm sure I have a story that you need to hear and that that's what's so important as a part of compassion so that we can recognize where we're one uh, our stories may be different but we each have one I really come from a place where I believe that there's more that unites us than divides us. And it's and so it was really hard to see that ugly side, shadow side of our community. We really are much stronger, much better than what I saw in that film. What I see is a lot of hope because I'm working with neighborhoods who are trying to figure out ways to work together to get planning that they want for their area. I've spent 12 years in local government, that's a long time, of hearing these arguments and watching people battle against each other. And so I think in terms of learning, I guess I saw more portrayal of what I see. It made me sad. To see this sort of tension between neighbors is really a bummer. And it makes me want to get more involved, for sure, and in a positive way. There is one person that I do have a lot more respect for after seeing the film that I didn't have before, and that is uh, Gary, County Commissioner. Uh, after seeing what he's gone through and some of the, I didn't realize how much he'd actually gone through until seeing this film. I have to say that for the people who were shown in the film who were going to public meetings and yelling, it sort of just hardened my, my stereotype of them. I was quite surprised at racism. I guess I have to say that too. I was really quite surprised that I thought, I thought there was a level of racism here I didn't know about. I don't think it's extremely obvious to any of us because uh, we're the majority, but I, I really think that if you're one of the ten African American people in town, that you would almost <laughs> deal with it on a daily basis, I would bet. I don't believe we should be closing John Stokes down because then we can close down every radio station. If they're listening to him, they take him at gospel. Yeah. If there's no one else out there that's going to correct the misinformation, we've got to be able to counter and get that into the public forum, the misinformation that he distributes. He's calling me, a, you know, I'm a feminazi, I'm an environmental Nazi, I'm this, I'm that, and I'm like, you know what? I'm going to fight back. I'm not going to just go, oh, you get freedom of speech. Well, I have freedom of speech, too. You know, he's really sort of... Um, exploiting that fear in a way that, you know, it does. people are not taking enough time to sort of think about, okay, if I've lost this, what can I do? My career came to an end. I wanted to blame somebody. It, it was like, it was like, no, that's not the way to You know, I mean, I lost my job a year ago, and it was like, okay, regroup, go to school, get another skill. I mean, it was like, you know, let's problem solve. You cannot treat each other the way people have been treating each other. It's, it's got to be unacceptable in our valley that Scott gets hate mail when he, when he says what he says about being a pro logging. That can't happen. Keith Hammer can't be threatened. Scott and I need to go when somebody threatens Keith Hammer. 
and say, Keith, when that happens, call us. We want to come and stand in the yard and say, I disagree with this man. I passionately disagree with this man, but he's got a right to say this. And Scott, when you get hate mail, you've got to be able to call anybody in the flathead. Call Keith Hammer and all these guys. We've got to close the gap and say, we're a community. We're going to discuss this. We're going to find out middle ground. But first of all, nobody's going to push us around. Nobody's going to tell us that we can't talk. Yeah, they won't do it. They will Who's they? The environmental activists that are better known around here, I guess. We've been trying to do that. What needs to be done is the... It's hard. It's an emotional issue. The emotion needs to be thrown out the window. You need to deal with the facts. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we would like to hear from each group two good ideas for what you would like to see happen next. Continue the discourse. Have the opportunity to speak to one another and know your neighbor a little bit. It was really important to have a process where people could be heard. And we talked about high schools breeding competition and rivalry instead of a process that is really about listening to each other. Get a local radio station, not the one that was portrayed, um, that has a program once a week where there is a panel discussion where facts and opinions get discussed and there might be an opportunity for the public to call in. The second one that the group came up with is we need to have more county commissioners, and two, they need to be elected in a different way so that we have different areas electing county commissioners so that your area feels like it has a voice in county government. The overall themes that we came along came away with is that uh, we need to do away with labels and we just need to try and work together to build trust. This lady came up with an idea of having a debate uh, between different groups and a public debate, and even maybe some debates within the school. A consensus that we cannot treat each other the way that was portrayed in the film if we're going to be able to communicate. In other words, if you speak your mind, you should not have to worry about being threatened, uh, having to look over your shoulder. Thank you all. These are wonderful ideas, and there seems to be a lot of dare I say, consensus in the room. The working group will put all of these suggestions that have come up during the week together, and there will be some way of uh, communicating these suggestions to the community. A hand of applause to the group discussion leaders and to all of you for participating.